bunny. Today I'm back in my lavender wig because I felt like it. I just went with my lip color lip because I did not feel like putting on black lipstick. I don't know. I'm also trying out a new mascara today so you're gonna have to tell me if my eyelashes look fake. It's the Maybelline XXL Pro Extensions Mascara. I don't know. I got it at Walmart the other day because ever since Leanne says did her birch box opening and they gave her blink mascara with lash extension tube type things. I've been looking for lash extension tube type stuff and this is what I came across but I don't know. I think it gave my eyelashes like some kind of like mental disorder because I don't I feel like they're like all over the place and like not wanting to hang out together. So um, today I'm gonna be doing a thrifting hurl. I know many of you have been waiting for me to do another thrifting haul video for like since 1982, but they're really just now starting to implement their fall and winter clothing and I really have more luck thrift shopping in fall and winter than I ever do in spring and summer. I guess it's because 99.9% .9 of my wardrobe is black and normally they have more black items to choose from in winter and fall. I've got a garbage bag full of items here, literally. Uh, this is the classy way that they wrap things up for you at Value Village. But I don't care because it keeps prices low, low, low. So who's going to be the first person to comment down here and be like, 321 is when the haul starts. Welcome to my channel where I talk about 80 random things before I actually get to the subject matter of my video. I like this bang in front of my eye too. It makes me feel like... Jessica Rabbit. I always wanted to be Jessica Rabbit, but I never blossomed into her fabulous figure. I kind of stayed... yeah. First bag is actually a small bag of kind of a lot of Halloween goodies. I swear I'm gonna do a car, like a showing off the inside of my car video for you guys. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, as is, I'm also going to do a room tour and a studio tour. They're all coming. So I got this little guy for my car. I'm obsessed with skeletons and skulls and stuff like that. It totally reminded me of the 80s when everybody had like suction cup animals on their back window. So now I have my very own suction cup animal. But he was 40 cents and I'm gonna affix him in my car. Item two is also Halloween related. I'm actually about to film a makeup collection video for you guys too because it's been requested several times. Normally I keep all my brushes and like my very most frequently used like eyebrow pencil, lipstick, yada yada in a little glass container but today I found him and it's like this little skeleton container. I don't really know what the hell this is actually for like if it's a cup or something. It's kind of a preposterous cup and it's not a mug because it doesn't have a handle. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna hold my makeup brushes and most used makeup items now. Oh yeah, he was 30 cents. Cheap. Um, very next thing is also Halloween. It's a magnet for my fridge. They charged me 30 cents for this. The very last thing in this little bag is a piece of jewelry. This was so silly to me, I had to buy it. How goofy is this thing? It's like a plastic pin but it's a freaking panda bear. I think it's supposed to be a panda bear. One of my favorite music artists is panda bear, so I got this panda bear for panda bear. Um, and it was only 90 cents, so bargain. One more stupid thing I have to show you guys. Y'all know my love for swamp people and how I always say that's how we do it on the swamp. Today I found a freaking alligator hat. I do not even know. Um, it's like a giant fuzzy... <laughs> alligator that you wear on your head. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but he was really super cute <laughs> and he was only 80 cents so I was like, alligator hat, obviously that's something I need in my life. I was gonna save this for the grand finale but I'm so excited about it. I'm just gonna show it to you guys now. This is the most expensive thing I've ever bought at a thrift store, hands down. I still like can't even believe I spent this much money at a thrift store. People please do not get on my case about this. Like, I, yeah, never mind. I'll just show you what it is and then I'll give you my spiel about it. It is a black rabbit skin coat. I had to move my sitting utensil so I could show y'all. But it has like this little tie belt so you can make it like really fitted. Tie a little bow. Um, I can't, I'm like jumping. 
So it's got a really lovely collar. It's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so now whilst in my coat, I'll give you my fur spiel. Let me just tell you my point of view on furs and things like that. I'm not for killing animals to get a product, but I am for buying vintage and used furs. I have a very, very, very old and antiquated way of thinking. And so things like taxidermy or vintage furs, they just appeal to me. I can't help it. Love me for it. Hate me for it. I've always wanted a black fur coat. This fits me perfectly. It was a perfect size. The only crazy thing about this is, is that it was $49. 49 whole actual American dollars, which isn't expensive for a real fur coat, but it is expensive for an item at a thrift store. So next I got some cool t-shirts. I'm always looking for comfortable, really old feeling vintage type t-shirts. Right now is my favorite time to go t-shirt shopping because they have a lot of Halloween style shirts. So the first one I got is from a local costume store here in Houston. I go there with my friend Opera Whore all the time. We go like wig shopping. Their logo is actually like this witch with a mask. Like that's not even like something seasonal. That's just their logo. This is so soft. It's paper thin. I cannot wait to put this on the washing machine and wear it for the very first time. Uh, that was only 60 cents. The next Halloween shirt that I got is also kind of funny. I don't know. It says, witch and famous. Ha 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 ha. It reminded me of an old Bugs Bunny cartoon. So this was 140 and I got one more Halloween t-shirt. I have actually been contemplating about buying this shirt like the last five times that I've been to Value Village and I just finally cracked down and bought it today. It's a jack-o'-lantern shirt. This was actually a size large shirt but it's been washed and worn so many times. It's paper thin and it fits me perfectly like it's almost my exact size. So this was 240 the next thing I got is a leather vest. If y'all have been on my channel for a really long time, y'all know that I'm totally obsessed with leather too. So once again, I wear animals. I don't know. It's a kind of gray leather vest. It fits me really well. I like these Western type embellishments on it, but I kind of bought it with the intention of altering it. I'm kind of into cheetah print lately, so I might sew some cheetah print pan pan pantles. What are pantles? I might sew some cheetah print panels on here. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but I maybe might alter it. And I'm probably going to thread some other kind of ribbon right here in this lace-up section, because um, this just kind of hangs here. It's kind of weird. Uh, but it fits me pretty good. And this was 520. This was weird. Soft plastic mask glows in the dark. Look at this. Look at this hokey packaging. I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. It was 40 cents. Welcome to the last item. The last item is leather too. This is a size small. It's like a black leather zippered jacket. It was on sale for $3 and I was like, okay, that's too cool to pass because I don't even, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I feel like it's kind of like a staple piece that I can have, but it's almost cut like a denim jacket which is one of the things that really appealed to me because I thought that was kind of weird. You know, like normally when you see a leather jacket, it's kind of like a bomber style or something. Um, jackets that are made out of leather really aren't cut this way normally. That was fun. Oh, and before I go, I have a special shout out to somebody special. That sounded like elusively creepy. So before I go, I want to give a shout out to Christian Severus. I hope you feel better soon and I'm sending you feel better owls, but I don't have any owls. So I'm sending you feel better skeletons from the realm of the undead. Ah. So that's it. That's all the things I have to hurl at you today. Please take a moment to subscribe. That would be awesome. Then you can see all the stuff I do in the future. 
Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite season to go thrifting is. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl. You can follow me on Twitter. There I am, at Pretty Vacant. I'll put that right down here. And I will see you guys later. Bye. I just keep wanting to, like, put lipstick on. <laughs> I feel like my mouth is so naked. So I got this comb with cricket legs in it. Y'all can't even see that. Oh, I have a mustache. I think it's better for my wig though. I think I'm kind of like getting better with this thing. Ah, 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 it looks so, it looks so lovely the more I back him it. Shall we go on with the video? I think we shall. It's actually okay that I have a bunny skin coat, right? Because my name is Bunny, so it's just like I'm putting my own skin back on. It's okay. It's okay, people. Let's hold hands and get through it together. I have been waiting for five years for Apple to allow me to set my own custom text tone. Oh, it wasn't even loud enough. Y'all need to hear it at max volume. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Johnny. Yes. Jack Nicholson, as a psycho, now says, here's Johnny every single time I get a text message. So I get to hear that like 900 times a day. It is so great. I need some fragrance. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh. That just went into my left nostril.